This is THV 11. Well, it's Bird of the Week this Thursday, and Sarah Baxter with the Game and Fish joins us, joins us with details on this week's bird, the northern Bob White. Right. Yeah, I like it a little plumpy bird. Yeah, we'll use a, that. It's a fat little bird. Um, <laughs> they're sort of shaped like a chicken. I was going to say. They don't they taste like, like chicken. chicken. They're mostly dark meat. But, they uh, like chicken. <laughs> they like chicken. But um, <laughs> people call these Bob White quail or just, they're just quail here in Arkansas because they're the only kind that we have. Um, and you can see here I've got a couple, oh, there's a male there Beautiful. with the white on the face and then there's a female oh, okay. with the buffy color yellow. on the face. Okay. So that's kind of the main difference between them. And there can be a lot of variation in color just within even males and females. There are 22 different subspecies of this bird. Um, okay. So, and that's a lot compared to most other birds. But these guys um, kind of have an interesting story. You know, there are probably a lot of your viewers watching right now saying, I remember when birds were, the, when quail were really common in Arkansas. And um, back in the 50s, 60s, even into the 70s, everybody that hunted birds, they quail hunted. Yeah. I mean, when you, when you hear people talk about bird hunting, a lot of the time they were, they were talking about quail hunting. And anymore, it's just really not as popular of an activity. And that's because the population has really taken a huh. nose and that's throughout the bird's range. Um, and the primary cause of that is loss of habitat and changing farming practices. If you go someplace where there's agriculture land, you can look out there and see there aren't very many fence rows, which these kinds of birds use as travel corridors oh, okay. between habitat types. And also there's been a big conversion over to cool season grasses rather than native warm season grasses, which makes it difficult for the young to move around. The cool season grasses are really thick and the native grasses are bunch grasses, so there's bare ground for the chicks to run around on. Now let's Get you there, they have a particular sound. Mm -hmm. I think we've got it if we can take a listen to what they sound like. Are they saying something? They're saying <laughs> Bob White. <laughs> get out of here, Sarah. <laughs> they are, it's like they know their name. <laughs> they are, I hear it now. Yeah, they were named for their call, not the other way around, obviously. <laughs> Bob White. Okay. But, so these guys. They're a really secretive little bird. They hang out on the ground. They're obviously very camouflaged in color. They're hard to see. Most of the time you're going to hear them before you see them when yeah. you get into where they are. And we do still have some quail in Arkansas. It's not like there are none. We even have a hunting season on them still. It's just not very many people do it because there aren't that many birds out there. Um, some good places to go are the Washita National Forest near Waldron. Okay. Um, and also just to hear, hear a quail and see a quail, the Camp Robinson um, Special Use Area. Those are mostly pin raised birds that have been released, but they still act the same as quail do, you know. Mm -hmm. So, um, but they, they lay about 12 to 15 eggs. Yeah, we've got that. Yeah, yeah they, they build they a little, really they call it. it a scrape nest. So they scrape out a little depression in the ground and they, they lay their eggs. And because they're a ground nester, there's lots of predators out there that like to mm -hmm. eat quail eggs. So not very many of them uh, make it. About 25% mm. of nests are successful. And then even the ones that hatch, you know, not very many of them make it to be adults, so I see. Ah. we'll have a tough time. <laughs> so you see, so you call them you call them ground birds, so that they, they spend most of the time on the ground. Yes, uh -huh. okay. they do. They can fly, but they don't do it very often. They've got you see how strong and hefty those legs are. Mm -hmm. They run a lot, huh. so and they eat lots of seeds and things. They like grassland areas and open savanna. So. Mm -hmm. cool. All right. Well, thanks, well, thanks so much, so much for Sarah. coming. I yes. love I love Bird of the Week's Thursdays. I always get excited when I work for Tom on Thursday. Um, Weather-wise, guys, we are watching those storms move through southeast, southwest Arkansas. Grab that umbrella. The northern tier, not worrying about them as much, but cooler tomorrow and a better weekend ahead. We've got a slim chance for showers on Sunday. All right. Well, that's going to do it for us. Remember, the news is always on THV11.com. Bye-bye. Have, have a great day.